So on your reference sheet, we have the parallel line rules, which appear about one third of the way down. Next to this, get your reference sheet out. Maggie, if you don't have the yellow sheet out, you want to get the yellow sheet out. Very, very handy. Next to where it says interior angles on the same side of the transversal, this was the official rule for years. And then around 1990, some of the BC math teachers said, this is a lot of writing to write out. And I abbreviated it, I it. I took the first letter of each word, but they still said, that's, that's a lot of writing. And then a British math teacher here in BC said, oh, we don't call it that in Britain. We call it co-interior. <coughs> Which is way shorter. So if you want to use that Sierra, they're interchangeable. Okay. I think in the answer keys, because the answer keys were made before they went to this shortcut, it will say interior angles on the same side of the transversal. But if you say co-int, co-interior, I'll take that. Meanwhile, back to what we were looking at. <coughs> so we're looking at number fourteen, the number 16, sorry, on page S6. It wants us to prove which of these lines are parallel. What does parallel lean, mean? Never crosses. Some of these look like they're parallel. Devin, these two look like they're parallel. These two look to me like they're parallel. And these two look to me like they're parallel. But they might not be. For them to be parallel, I have to be able to prove it. They have to fit one of those parallel line rules. And if they don't, if they violate one of those parallel line rules, I know they can't be parallel. Okay. UW. That one. Which line do you think it's parallel to? T, T, Y? So the suggestion is that U, W is parallel to T, Y, and that symbol for parallel, two vertical bars. I usually draw the parallel symbol slanty because I'm concerned if I do that, it gets an 11. So I slant mine. Convince me. What parallel line rule can you see which proves that these must be parallel? So looking either at corresponding or alternate interior or what? Convince me. Where? I agree with you, by the way. Ah, Liam, nice. This 80 can slide over. In fact, the letter I told you to look for was a big letter F. Liam, you're saying, hey, do it. That's a big F on its side. Well played. Okay. What's another set of parallel lines? Well, the next one I looked at was these two here. They look parallel. Are they? Matt's shaking his head. No. Convince me. Okay, they violate corresponding. For them to be parallel, both of those would either have to be 65 or 60. So even though they look parallel to the naked eye, uh-uh, they're not. What's another set of parallel lines? Well, the next one I looked at was these two. Are they? Yes? So first of all, Sam says, yes, they are. I'm going to write... QU, or you could write UQ, I don't care, is parallel to RT. Convince me. It is if you say it louder with authority, like you know it. Now, I want you to say it like you're calling a play in basketball with authority so that everybody says you're right. Go for it. Co interior. Oh, now co interior was when you had. Two parallel lines and the angle inside them, the interior angles, they're not the same. Instead, they add to what? 180. That was also called interior angles on the same side of the transversal, which is a mouthful to say. Yes, I practiced. Much easier to write. co -int. So on these questions, <coughs> excuse me, Shania, on these questions, number 16, number 17, and number 18, it's saying, can you find two sets of parallel lines and prove it? One of the reasons we like geometry, Shay, is the rules are what we call if and only if rules. They're rules that work both forwards and backwards. Let me give you an example of a rule that doesn't work forwards and backwards. If it's raining, it's cloudy. Is that true? 
If it's raining, it's cloudy. Is that true? Yeah. If it's cloudy, it's raining. Is that true? No, that's not a rule that works backwards. However, with geometry rules, if it's corresponding, it's parallel. If it's parallel, it's corresponding. One implies the other. They both work. So you can use them to prove, to go backwards. You can say, if I know it's parallel, I can find a corresponding or a co-interior or an alternate interior. Or if I know there's an alternate interior or a corresponding or a co-interior pattern, then I know it's parallel. Can you also then turn, please, to number 13 on page, number 13 on page S9. Did I talk about number 13 with you folks? Or even number 12 if you want to on page S8. Let's talk about number 12 on page S8. Number 12 on page S8. Number 12 on page S8. Sesame Street is brought to you by what shape? What I've said to you is if you ever see a circle and they put a dot at the center, you have a whole bunch of radiuses. Can I stop saying radiuses and can I say radii because the plural of radius is radii and I want to feel like a nerd. So I'm saying radii from now on. You have a whole bunch of radii. And every radius, all of the radii, must be the same length. As soon as I see a circle, Alex, the first thing I do is this. That's the same, that's the same, that's the same. I put hash marks on every radius. Why is that helpful, Boston? As soon as I do that, what kind of a triangle is this now? Not equilateral, got to be fussy. Equilateral means three sides are the same. There's no way three sides are the same. Look at your yellow sheet where it says triangles. What kind of a triangle is this now? Isosceles. In fact, anytime you have a circle, for example, in number 13, there's a whole bunch of isosceles triangles there. Trust me, there are. Okay. Last thing I want to talk about since Boston brought up the term quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means four sides. Can you find quadrilaterals, page S10? Page S10. And now you also want to look at the yellow sheet where it says quadrilaterals, which I think is the right-hand side. Yes? Okay. We're going to do a couple of these together, and then I'm going to turn you loose. Angle one, how big? 105, objection, Your Honor, calls for speculation. Convince me, Liam. Nice. By the way, you'll probably end up memorizing vertically opposite and the parallel line ones because they show up so often and probably supplementary. They're the most common ones. The other stuff, you, by the way, you don't have to memorize any of them, but you're lazy. You'll get tired of looking them up. All right. How big is angle two? Alex is typing away on her calculator, which means she's seen something. Alex, how big is angle two? 45? Convince me. What did you do on your calculator? I have no idea. Sorry, what? Why 360? Oh, on your yellow sheet under quadrilaterals, what's the first thing it says? Sum of the quadrilaterals is 360. Remember last day we had the sum of the triangle was 180, and we called that angle sum of triangle? How do we call this angle sum of quad? You know what? Angle sum of, and there's my abbreviation for a quadrilateral. I draw four-sided shape. You can write quadrilateral. You can write quad. And how did she find it? She said every four-sided shape, every four-sided shape adds to 360. So if I go 360 minus 90 minus angle 1 minus 120, I get 45. Okay. What does every four-sided shape add to? 360. Why, Devin? Angle sum of quad. 
What shape is bare? Look at your yellow sheep. Figure it out. Matt, trapezoid. So right now, I'd also be looking at all my trapezoid stuff on my yellow sheet and take it from there. Oh, let's... Matt, what would be a good way to abbreviate trapezoid? Oh, I'll take trap, sure. I won't take trap from you, though. <laughs> Zing over some of their heads completely. I'll let you try three and four on your own. But, oh, you got some parallel lines. You can work some stuff here. Hey, uh, let's look at Pony. What's Pony? Simon, what's Pony? Okay. Now you can write out parallelogram. Here's what. Here's my abbreviation for parallelogram. Parallel. Oh, gram. You can write out parallelogram, but you're going to botch the number of L's and R's usually because parallel is not the easiest word to spell. But wait a minute, I have a symbol for parallels. Two parallel lines. Okay. Oh, then it says PY, this line, equals what? What's this line the same length as? You're right. I heard someone say it. Why? Oh, let's look at our sheet. Let's see. What does it say about parallelograms? Oh. How about op sides equal? Right? Opposite means the facing sides, they're equal to each other. And that's a little rule right there. So you have parallel line parallelogram rules right here. And you have rectangle rules right here. Oh, and a rectangle is also a parallelogram. So not only do all of these apply, all of these apply. We looked at quadrilaterals a few days ago. Quadrilaterals are a bit trickier. Most of the stuff I'm going to give you on a test is going to be based on is going to be based on it's going to be based on triangles. So I am going. <clears throat> I am going to add today let's see on page s13 did I give you number 14 on did I give you page sorry s yeah did I give you page s13 I nuked that one did I No, 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 no. In, in the package, though, if you keep turning the pages. Is it in there or not? No? Okay. What all did I give you in... Why don't I grab a geometry package? Because this is the great big document, but I didn't print it all or photocopy it all. This is my original. So I gave up to S9. Then there's an S10. I like. S11. I like. Then you get to... This page, yes? Okay. These ones are cool. Here, Simon, these ones you'll like because in these ones, look at the answer. Am I also asking for a reason or am I just asking for the angle? You can see because there's not a spot for the reason. But for most of these, you're going to have to hopscotch your way. And some of these, like especially this page, these are nasty. If you get some of these... I'll actually ask you to explain it to the class because some of these I can't get. Little brain teasers. If you're wanting an idea of what's harder than I'll ask on the test, these ones here. What's that, Danielle? You'd like to try one? Okay, let's try one, shall we? Let's try uh, number 11. Number 11. You guys have number 11? It's going to be on the very back, I think. Yeah, or close to it? This one. Danielle, what do they want me to find in number 11? Danielle, we are proud Canadians. 
When we cross the border, we say Z. But here in Canada, we are proud. We are proud. What do we say? Say this angle again for me, Danielle, like a good Canadian girl. XZY. Wee oui, wee. Oui. You can even throw a little French in there if you want to. X. Say it again, sorry. X, Z, Y. Oh, you know which one they want me to find? That guy. I'll put a little loop there, and that's what I'm going to try and get to. What's the only angle they gave me in this question? I'll start with the 80, and I'll say, what else do I know because of that? What else do I know because of that 80? What does this angle tell me? Marcus. Oh, you even said letters. I would have just said the one next to it, but sure. That's 100. How does that help? What can I figure out now? Oh, Boston. What kind of triangle is this? Yeah, you do. Can you look at your yellow sheet under triangles, please? As I've said several times before now. And try and figure out which one of those matches this particular little pattern here. Are you on number 11 in front of you? So can I do this? Oh, hang on, Boston. Wait a minute. You're, you know what? So that's not acceptable. Raising your hand and saying, Mr. Duick, where are we? That's much more acceptable. So find it. We are on page. What are we on? Page S. Okay, Boston. Are you ready? Here we go. Not mad at you yet. Nice and big for you. So we just said that's 80, that's 100. Uh, by the way, what would the rule be if I'd asked for it? Marcus. No. Sup. Supplementary. Sup. Right? Okay. Whatever stupid way you want to remember. Sup. You know, what's up, right? Um, okay, Boston, what kind of triangle is this? Yes! Boston, what can you tell me about these two angles then? More specific, since this is 100, how big do they have to be each? <laughs> how big is this? What shape is this? What does every triangle add to? No, no, no. It's on your sheet. You're looking at two seconds. Sorry? 180. So if that's 100, what's left? And if each of these angles are the same because it's isosceles, how big is each one? Yes! Woo Let's fill those in. What do I know now? Oh, this is also 40? Vertically opposite, if you wanted to be fussy. Oh, what kind of triangle is this? Isosceles, so how big is this one? So these ones here, these last two pages, are going to be hopscotching questions like that. And let me tell you, from prior experience, if you get 19, 20, or 21, if you get 22, did I give you 22, 23, and 24? Okay. If you get these three... I'm impressed. You have the remainder of class, and the assignment is this whole here package. It's not due next class, but I'm giving you more homework on a different package next class. Okay? I'm shutting up.